Hello YouTube, I'm just doing a video. I'm gonna start doing blade reviews now. I know I'm in bed, but that's just why I'm comfy at. <laughs> but, you know, you gotta review things where you're comfy at. And I got a little bit of a gem today. I actually got a case with it. It is a Crown Stag Bowie. Now this is kind of a mystery. I don't really know where it was made. Or, I'm assuming it was made in America by some uh, independent maker. Bought it at a um, buy it at an antique store, and it's pretty nice. I like it. It's pretty sharp. Yeah, it's pretty sharp. It's got the cool clip point. That that crown stack handle is just beautiful. Yeah, I just love it. I can't get enough of crown stag and stag candles I love them to death and uh, I especially love this because you've all seen the movie or well, not all of you but I because I haven't seen it fully but Inglorious Bastards um, excuse my language <laughs> I don't want to get monetized for that but um, it's a great movie I've heard I've seen bits and pieces of it and it's pretty cool and I love the knife in that movie I've seen it I'm like, wow, I want to get something similar to that. So I ended up with this knife. I don't know exactly what the steel is. Um, it could be carbon steel. It could be 440. It could be 420. Um, but I am not exactly sure. It's got the brass guard with the little tooling work on it. You know, it's got on the other side. It's got the clip point, as I said before. It's a really neat little knife, and I love Bowie knives. I've loved them since probably I've seen Rambo, and uh, all the westerns, uh, all the western movies like you know Clint Eastwood and um, John Wayne. You know, I mean that's the obvious ones, and obviously games like Red Dead Redemption, Red Dead Redemption Two, even Red Dead Revolver if you remember that one. Um, but. I, I just love the Bowie knife. It's a good knife, and I don't think I'm gonna use this one very um, a lot, except for like maybe woodland or um, if I ever go if I go hunting, maybe that. But I don't think I would use it for anything that's too hard on the knife because this is a pretty pretty knife, and I just want to keep it as you know good as possible. Um, but actually, fun fact, um, uh, David, not David Bowie, um, <laughs> Jim Bowie, um, got the first Bowie knife from, Bowie knife from his brother, um, I think it was Resin Bowie or something, don't quote me on that, and eventually, you know, Jim Bowie got famous for the Alamo and the Sandbar fight, and... He, his knife became known, and Valentine's Knife is all across the club called Bowie. And especially, I one of the things that made me want a Bowie knife was the Crocodile Dundee scene that you all know, probably. Yeah, that's not a knife, this is a knife. And I'm rambling, I know, but this is just a pretty, pretty knife. I love it to death. Um, yeah. And just like that, that's like the original skull crusher, you know, like, you know, that's like the original skull crusher. Anyway, I, I'm rambling, but, um, it's a real sharp knife, it's a real good knife, and it comes with this nice case here, you know, and I just really love it, real pretty knife. And uh, all in all, good knife. Don't have nothing wrong with it. The only thing that could be better is I'm not sure if it's a full tang, so probably not really beat on it too hard. I don't think that'd be a good idea. But all in all, it's it's good. Real good knife. I'm gonna be coming out with a few more knife reviews, mostly towards this retrospect. Just sitting down, talking about the knife, you know, calm stuff. Um, just chillin'. Love y'all.